Hello, and welcome to the ECLA training videos. We are going to discuss recording outreach in this video. There are three parts to this video. Part one is creating the communications record. Part two is doing a mass email. And then part three is creating a bulk email ticket. To get to these instructions and this video, go to support.eclacolorado.org. Click Solutions, click Step 1 Outreach to Providers, and then choose Recording Outreach. I'm in Google Chrome, the recommended browser for working with ECLA products. Type in support.eclacolorado.org. And, and then click Solutions. And you will see the various solutions. Click Step 1, Outreach to Providers, and then Recording Outreach. And once I'm done with the video, I'll put the three parts at the beginning. And then you'll, you can look at all the instructions with graphics on how to do these procedures. Councils are required to inform 100% of their licensed providers about quality improvement opportunities. And these must be reported quarterly. But don't worry, all of this can be done in sugar, and this webinar will walk you through the steps. You can record in-person visits, phone calls, emails to both an individual or groups of individuals, and letters. The example video will be an email, but you can use the same steps in this first part for in-person visits or phone calls or letters. To add outreach through the account record, you click Account in Sugar, type in the provider name and select them, and then scroll down to the Calls panel and click Plus on the right side of the screen. I'm in Sugar. I click Accounts, and in this example, I'm going to do Bill's test, oh, Bill's child care test. Bill's record is loading right now, and then I'm scrolling down. To the calls panel. And on the right side is the plus. I'll click that and I get into a blank record. Once you're in the record detail for either the call, email, letter, etc., include all the fields that are marked with an asterisk. Make, it det make the record detailed enough to remember and also for your reports and click save when complete. Because this is CCAP funding, I'm going to type CCAP funding available as a subject. Notice that there's an ast a red asterisk after subject, so this is a required field. Status is also required, but email reminder time is not required. Uh, the choice that I have in the status is outbound, which means I'm sending it to someone else. Whereas inbound is that if I got a phone call or an email and I wanted to log it from somebody else, I would put it here. But it's outbound. And then the status choices you have is contact made, left voicemail, need to call back, or planning future contact. We're going to choose contact made. Contact type, again, in this you could have a call, in-person visit, email, letter, or other. And in our case, we're going to do an email. And the email reminder time you can leave. Um, if you wanted to uh, create an e a reminder for you later on, on to contact somebody, you could put how long you wanted to get the email prior, get an email from Sugar prior to sending this. In the related to this, because we came in through the accounts option, it has the current account bills child care test. We could also choose communications, but then we would have to choose related to 
communications is there's a note at the bottom of the article. Duration, the minimum duration is 15 minutes, so, and that's the default, so you can keep that. Um, unresponsive account or person is if you call a, a person and they don't really, aren't interested, you could put yes, that they're uninterested. I'm going to just leave it blank. Start date and time is if you wanted to um, set a meeting, um, then you could set this for the future, but otherwise this will default to whenever you started um, this record. Communication purpose is going to be, in this case, spending outreach, but we could have many other options and they're described in detail in the article. Primary funding stream, like we said, is going to be CCAP. The secondary communication purpose and funding stream are also described in more detail in the article. Bulk communication is, in this case, it's going to be yes. If we were just sending one email or one call or one letter, then we would keep this no. But in this case, we'll be sending a number of the same email or mass email. Okay, and then for bulk, imported, completed, keep that no for now. Um, ECLA will change that to yes after we do the bulk email. Im email. Okay, and for internal notes, it's sort of what is the email or call or letter about. And in this case, or you could just copy the, sub, the, the content of your email, or you could do um, advanced. In this case, it can be advanced notice of CCAP dollars available. And then, and how to access DC Connect. Okay, for this communication uh, summary per, for, for funders, um, since this is a bulk email, um, I'm going to have this really general, but if you had a specific comment for um, the state, um, then you could put it in here. In this case, I'm going to put CCAP uh, first outreach of 2016. Okay, when you're finished, you click save. And you can notice when you scroll down in Bill's record, uh, scrolled too far, that this CCAP funding available is in your calls list. This concludes part one of recording outreach. The next video will be part two, sending a mass email.